This right here is my Dell Oplitex 745. It originally came with Windows XP, but I installed Windows 7 Home Premium. See, I got the disc right up here. Windows 7 Home Premium. And this is my second ever computer. So let's take a look at it. Um, it's got a headphone port, a microphone port, two USB ports, floppy disk drive, a DVD ROM, and a DVD LW and CD LW drive. Um, it has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor and four gigabytes of RAM. On the back, um, you got more USB ports, Ethernet, and blah blah blah. Um, I'm not gonna pull it back. But yeah, so this is gonna be a little, a little Windows Seven memorial. Well, not really memorial, but what do you? A little Windows Seven remembrance, cause Windows Seven, cause Windows Ten was just released. Well, you can still up. They still are releasing updates. Well, until the year twenty twenty, but. Most people are probably updating Windows 10 now, so let's give a little look, last look at Windows 7 for you people who are upgrading to Windows 10 like me. See? Yeah. So let's take a look. Because the start menu is back in Windows 10. A new feature, another feature that's going away is Windows Media Center on Windows 7. Um, Windows Media Center is great. Uh, no thank you. And thinking of desktop cartridges, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Windows Media Center, you will be missed. It was pretty cool back then. It said on the upgrade thing for people for Windows Media Center customers um, they will give you um, a new DVD center which is pretty nice of them alright so Windows Media Center will be missed another thing that's going away when Windows 10 release is the desktop gadgets these will be very cool the desktop gadgets so you could put like a CPU meter on your desktop a slideshow for like pictures this is my favorite, the puzzle. This is pretty cool. Wee. Yeah. Also, you could get a Windows Media Center thing on here and a calendar, even a clock. Pretty cool. So those are going away, those will be missed too. Got Windows Media Player version 12, which is still in Windows 10. Let's see, Windows Media Player version 12. Yep. And also Windows Update, Windows Update, I think they're more than Windows Update with the Windows Stone now, which is cool. Uh, of Windows Update. There's also Microsoft Silverlight, which is basically Adobe Flash Player, Microsoft version of Adobe Flash Player. It's used for like um, Netflix on Windows Media Center. That's what I use it for to watch Netflix on here. I got QuickTime version 7 on here to watch video files with QuickTime. And I also have iTunes 2 on here. Not iTunes version 2. I mean, I, I think it's iTunes version 12, but I mean, I never mind. I think you get it. But yeah, it's iTunes. You don't need to look at that. Uh, I got Google Earth on here. And, and also, ooh, ooh, I forgot to mention another thing that's going away in Windows um, 10 is Internet Explorer because they're replacing it with Microsoft Edge. Windows, Internet Explorer. 
Well, there were some good memories with Internet Explorer and some bad memories. Because there was a lot of bad Internet Explorers, like 6, 7, and 8 were awful. They were so slow, but 9, 10, and 11 were pretty good, and any of them before that were pretty good. I always had so much trouble with Internet Explorer 6 on my 98 computer back then, but yeah, Internet Explorer will be missed, kind of. <laughs> See, here's Bing. So it came out on Bing. Bing! I'm surprised they don't get Windows 10 upgrades for Windows Vista customers because Windows Vista is not that old, but still, I don't know why they don't give it to them because Windows Vista, they might be winning on a pretty fast grid. I don't know. The close all tabs. Let's take a look at some more stuff. I guess. I got Arcade Classic Pack. This is pretty cool. I had this, my grandma had this on her computer a long time ago, so I just had to download it on here. It's really cool. It has a bunch of old arcade games like Frogger. I love Frogger. Oh, that. Ah, stupid AVG! No, no, no! I hate you, AVG! Ah! Okay, that was real. Um, yeah, so. Also, we have Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center. I don't know if that's gonna be in Windows 10, but basically, Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center is if you're using a Microsoft Mouse or Keyboard, see? I'm using a Microsoft Wireless Mouse blue one. This is the mouse. 3500. <laughs> um, for some reason, in this picture it shows the new Microsoft logo, but on mine, see, it has the old logo. So, yeah, that's Microsoft mouse and keyboards, you know. Skype is going to be in Windows 10. Skype is awesome. See, I have a web Logic Tech webcam up there. I hope if, if I when I upgrade to Windows 10, I hope it supports that. Also, my little wireless stick. I have a Linksys wireless stick in the computer. Skype Home unavailable. Your webcam has a microphone. I know. Stupid. Skype is so stupid. This version of Skype is pretty annoying because it always opens up and it's so annoying. But. Who cares, I guess. You can always close it. So, that's about it. All I have to show you for Windows 7. If there's anything else I can show you, let's see. Oh, the games. The games are disappearing too. Mind people and Solitaire you can download. And on the Windows, on your Windows update. And... Most of them are appearing, um, disappearing except Solitaire. Because Solitaire, you can download this on um, Microsoft Store. And I don't know, does, Sol does, does, does Spiders? I think Spider Solitaire comes with the Solitaire thing you download from the Microsoft Store. But, yeah. Also, but it is not appearing. Oh, this game is just weird. I know this. The rest of these I know are not going to be on Windows 10, but this game is just weird. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get it! What are you supposed to. This game is so creepy! Ah! Get away from that. Yeah, I don't get that game. But anyway, that is my little. What I should call memorial. Not uh, why do I keep saying memorial? It's not a memorial. What I mean to say a little remembrance. I can't think of the word remembrance or word. I don't know. Remembrance of Windows 7. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. And I hope you enjoy your copies of Windows 10. Bye.